So we'll just do a quick discussion uh, because I've gotten a lot of uh, questions about uh, dealing with uh, headaches, migraines. So the toughest thing with migraines is there's just so many variables out there. So, you know, the first thing is going back into, you know, your history. Do you have a history of concussions, um, TBI, uh, brain aneurysms, tumors, um, meningitis? Uh, you know, those can all have lasting effects on your brain health in general, whether it's uh, migraines all the way up to dementia, Alzheimer's, uh, Parkinson's as well. There's a, a lot of other things, uh, you know, triggers that can cause migraines. A lot of it is food related. So you may have um, hypersensitivity to things like dairy, eggs, uh, alcohol, caffeine, sugars, certain uh, oils as well. So certainly important to talk to uh, a nutritionist about those things. Dehydration is a big issue as well. Um, lack of um, sufficient electrolytes uh, is also gonna be a concern. So a, a lot of those things you can just, um, you know, look at your diet and try to figure out ways of doing maybe an elimination diet with some of those types of foods and see if you have, um, uh, you know, uh, decrease in migraines, decrease in, in headaches as well. Uh, there are particular foods uh, that are uh, more beneficial for you. So uh, celery juice is good, apple, cinnamon, uh, cayenne pepper, cilantro, so look into a lot of those things, vitamin D, of course, um, magnesium, uh, that can be beneficial. You know, sleep is hugely important as well. So, uh, you know, making sure that you're getting the proper sleep, making sure that you're getting deep sleep, make sure that you're avoiding some of the certain things that can reduce uh, good sleep, whether that's, you know, caffeine, um, blue light, um, you know, just your evening type stressors as well. When it comes to using light uh, to help with uh, relieving migraines, you know, whatever you got, use. So here's the things that I particularly like. So the torches, so these are from uh, K, from Photonic. Uh, specific meridian points that you can hit. So lung seven, um, large intestine four, uh, extraordinary point, uh, lung nine, and then triple energizer 70. So most of these are in the hand, extraordinary point uh, on either side of, of the nostrils as well. And these you would just use for about 20 to 30 seconds per area. Uh, also focus on trigeminal. Trigeminal seems to cause a lot of issues. So trigeminal is right here vagus nerves are right here so again you can use these either side at the same time again 20 to 30 seconds per spot you can also work on the tmj if you're noticing any tightness in this area uh, c1 c2 two vertebrae axis and atlas right at the base of the skull that you know all the nerves innervate up through there so that's another good place to hit um, uh, with the torches if you have a pad system, I'm a big fan of Michael Liner's uh, cell LED. I've got the box so you can see. So with the pad system, and what I really like about this one, one, it's very durable, uh, but it pulses, which is great. Same with the torches, they can also pulse as well. So this one can pulse at 10, 40, and then it can go up through some of the nausea frequencies. So this, easy put here, put here, put back here as well uh, and then of course panels uh, so this is you know my light path panel this one also uh, pulsates so it can pulsate at two and a half 10 40 uh, 73 and up through the noget frequencies so with the panel very simple you'll just place it in front of the face and then you can place it on the back you can always alternate and do one day front back, one day side, side to get all of these uh, areas um, as well. 
also look at uh, getting proper testing with shingles can also be an issue. And there's, there's a bunch of different strains of shingles. So um, that can be a tough one. Also, Epstein-Barr can be an issue for causing migraines, Lyme disease. So toxins, uh, metal, uh, mold, even just your normal allergies uh, can trigger migraines. So the whole point is you really have to take a holistic approach with this. Light is not going to fix all your issues. So, you know, start um, changing your diet, start changing uh, your supplements, uh, add exercise into it, and then do these specific things with the light um, to help, uh, you know, reduce um, the inflammation that could be in these areas. Um, to help your melatonin, to help your sleep as well uh, as reducing, uh, you know, your stress anxiety. The goal is to get you uh, out of that uh, sympathetic nervous and get you more into a calm parasympathetic. Also with the pulsing, you know, Violite uh, is a great kind of gold standard. Uh, a lot of great research showing how they've been able to um, decrease certain, you know, alpha wavelengths that can put you in a, in a calmer state and that can certainly certainly help with um, thought process help with sleep disorders uh, help with any type of other brain type issues but certainly will uh, help with reduced migraines so um, you know I'm not an expert in any of this stuff so you know it's just important to do your due diligence on this uh, and check with your uh, doctor, uh, your nutritionist, and kind of figure out the different steps that you can be doing to decrease your migraines, and then add the light onto that. All right.